All right, we are going to be embarking on a wonderful 30 days together. We are going to be doing the 30 days of body gratitude. And I wanted to give you just a little bit of backstory as to why it is I created this challenge for the Half Size Me community and what I'm hoping you get out of it. So um, first off, as you guys know, I had battled my weight my whole life and I truly believed, whether I articulated it or not, that losing all the weight was going to make me like the way my body looked. When I got about 20 pounds outside of my goal weight, so I've lost about 150 pounds at this point, it finally hit me really hard that in fact I was not going to like my body the way that I thought I would. And this hit me hard. Um, jo Joel actually thought maybe he needed to go get me professional help because I was literally crying every day. That is not me, by the way. Like I am not somebody who cries every day, but literally I was just so weepy. I couldn't, I couldn't stop. And so I went down several avenues. One, um, I went and I actually saw a plastic surgeon and he explained to me what procedures I would need to have after having lost so much weight. He was gracious and let me see his before and after photos. And that was eye-opening because up until that point, I think I truly thought, okay, I'll just get plastic surgery. I'll just fix it with plastic surgery. Well, what ultimately transpired after seeing those before and after pictures, I had the realization that no, in fact, I would have this initial circ circumferential body lift that he was recommending. And based on the photos I was seeing of other people who had had this procedure, I would then still want to change other things. So I would be going down this rabbit hole of surgery after surgery after surgery because really none of them would create the look that I, in my mind, had thought I would achieve. So what this then did was it gave me kind of options, right? Option one, I go down the rabbit hole of surgery. Option two, I stay in this depressed funk. Three was beginning to think about this completely differently because what I had learned in my weight loss journey was my thinking was usually my problem. <laughs> my, my thoughts were normally where all the problems originated, whether it was a lack of feeling worthy and needing boundaries put in place, whether it was how I used food to reward myself, whatever the thoughts were, usually they needed to be fixed. So I started practicing body gratitude. Now, I want to be super clear. I am not somebody who does well with affirmations. And the reason is it's not because I think there's anything wrong with affirmations if they work for you. But when I say something about myself or anything for that matter, it has to be what I view as being factual and accurate. If not, I struggle with believing it. So when I went down the road of body gratitude, everything had to be based on facts, not feelings. And it had to be seeing the, the, the gratitude for the functionality of my body. And I started very small. I started with one word. I'm grateful for my hands because of, you know, the fact that they can make my kids lunch, right? It was very simple. And what transpired over the last seven years is a wonderful gratitude practice. But what happened is... I started to feel kindness for my body in a way that I had never felt before. It wasn't that it looked any different. It was just that I appreciated what it gave me. My body is the conduit that allows me to give and receive love in the world. It allows me to live a life with purpose and show up and help others. It really is a gift, and I had not seen it that way before. I had seen it more as, is it visually appealing? Is it aesthetically appealing? I had to work on seeing it completely differently, right? So when you say, like, who is this challenge for? It's really for everyone, because if you're on day one of your weight loss journey, the sooner you can be grateful and appreciate your body for what it allows you to do in the world, the more you're going to take care of it and see it through on your weight loss because you start to see value in your body, right? You see, it's like, it's like getting a brand new car or anything else. You want to take super good care of it because you really appreciate it. You've worked hard to get it, right? Um, 
And then it's also for the person who's lost all the weight and they keep saying, oh my gosh, if I would just lose five or 10 more pounds, then I'll be happy. I'll be happy with my body. I was this person too. And it starts to kind of highlight the fact that maybe that's not true. I mean, you could lose the other five to 10 pounds, but what if it doesn't really transform how you feel about your body? What if you feel the exact same way? So this challenge starts to open up that door of caring for your body because it provides a way for you to show up in the world and do things. It allows you to see your body as more than just something to look at. It's something that actually has a service that it provides. And really it will start to soften your feelings about it. So I'm excited about this 30 day challenge. I have a few more videos for you to watch so that we were on the same page and I am excited to get started. All right, you guys take care and I'll talk to you soon.